What an island. I haven't even walked up the pathway yet and already I'm in love. This place just looks so beautiful. This is nuts. This is crazy. Look at all these boats. There's always something to look at, always something to watch. Always just a tiny little bit of drama. Fantastic. I was just thinking, I think South Brittany is my favourite part of the whole world. I can't think of a place I like more than South Brittany. It is, you know, stunningly beautiful, it's wild, the people are friendly. I can't think of a single fault with this place. The little harbour on the north side looks very, very small, but apparently in season they can get up to 40 yachts in there, rafted up around three mooring boys, which is <laughs> impressive. We've just rowed ashore. Is it rowing or rowed? Rowed ashore. We just rowed. <laughs> We've just rowed. One has rowed and it's been a long day. <laughs> we be rowing. <laughs> anyway, we have rowed ashore in Ilda. Ilda Hodic. No, I think it's just Il Hodic. Il Hodic. But someone said there's a bar. <laughs> we heard there was beer. What a day. What an island. I haven't even walked up the pathway yet and already I'm in love. This place just looks so beautiful. We're definitely in a different part of France now. You know, the architecture is different. The, it, this is quite sandy actually. It, this isn't rocky like, um, like Pornic was, but definitely the architecture, the buildings are completely different to even 50 miles south. It's crazy. You can't check in because you don't have no, a boat. No, you stay in the boat. No, you say come back tomorrow morning with the papers. Oh, okay. That's all right then. So yeah, we can check in. You just you need the papers. That's all right. You can come back tomorrow morning. Easy peasy. <laughs> I think what is pretty amazing to note is that this, it's not, a, it's a village because it's got a church, therefore not a hamlet, but there must be 20 houses. There are two bars here that we know of. There's two bars in a bakery. So yeah, quids in, so we're going to have a little celebratory beer and just take in. This is just, it's so beautiful here. So, so, it's been a day, isn't it? Oh god, it's been a day, alright. Sailing rewards you with things. This is one of those things. This is one of those things. There you go. This is our view. Ruby Rose is somewhere down there in this bun fight of boats in a circle. You just order for us. Rile de poisson. And? And some kir. <laughs> Slightly more. It's extravagant than I was expecting, but that's fine. Well, yeah, I'll have both kirs and the rile. No, so that's you can, fine. You can sit I, I will definitely have my kir. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, exactly. Well, anything's better than whatever we have on the boat. We have literally no food on the boat. We have a very small amount of food. We tried to catch fish today. We failed twice. So not to interrupt your eating. Yes. But what are your first impressions of this place? I love it. It's crazy, isn't it? I love this place. It's things like this that make it, this is why we sail. It's why I put up a seasickness and boat maintenance and unblocking Jabsco parts and um, all the other stuff that goes with the downside. It's things like this that make up for the upsides. Mm. You would never find a place like this unless you, unless you're on the boat. Well, you could, you can come by ferry, but why would you? You never would. 
I think that that um, mooring today, it has to be. Look, listen, if you don't stop spilling that all over you, yourself, <laughs> then I'm gonna ban you from eating it. <laughs> I don't think you've taken a single mouthful so far. Wait, you've actually got it in your mouth the first time. Hey? Crumbly. Crumbly, yes. I think it's the craziest mooring we've ever done. I mean, realistically, rafting up is not difficult. I'm not saying it's difficult, it actually was very easy. It's far easier than it looks, believe it or not. Yeah because you are going at such low speeds and everyone is out there to help you and everyone's got their fenders out and so really if you bump into another the whole point is to bump into another boat because you have to tie up to them so it's like it's kind of in a lot of ways easier than tying up to a pontoon mm -hmm. how's your care very nice babe. very civilized too a civilized way of spending an afternoon No, no, no. <laughs> this has got to be one of the most charming places I've ever been. The panthers and the lavender. And the hollyhocks. Yeah. Is that what they're called? Hollyhocks. Would you live somewhere like this? I couldn't live like I couldn't live for fifty years here without ever leaving, but I could drop out, yeah. You could drop in and out. I don't know, I feel pretty strongly about people that buy holiday homes to try and then just lock them up and I think it unfortunately you contribute to the demise of um, of, of communities by doing that yeah the French have pretty strict laws about that now especially in ski resorts yeah you can't just buy I mean maybe it applies here but you can't just buy a property in France and you know lock it up for 10 months of the year mm. clearly there's lots of people here just for tonight but Oh, what is that expression that we talk about sailing? Leave no, leave, leave nothing but footprints. Yeah. Or whatever. Um, <laughs> whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> it should be the same. No, but it is. It's like take only memories, make only memories, and take nothing. Leave nothing but footprints. Yeah. This is nuts. This is crazy. Look at all these boats. Yeah, I think I see what's going on up there. What? Well, this is even adjusting all our lines. I don't think the Asperger's are a problem, do you? No, but they're trying to get the, uh, the boat next door to move back so that they can all fit in. And he said, like, he, he, he needs to move back because they're not Asperger's. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, that's fair enough, I guess. It's weird being the biggest boat. Yeah. Are you going to join in the... No. 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 I'm going for oh, not getting involved. It's all part of the uh, the fun, I think. This kind of uh, late evening, lengthy discussion about, you know, whether the boats are in the right place and whether to move and what to do. Unless, unless we're directly involved, I think we just stay stay out of it. Woke up this morning and our boat was like sitting perfectly still in the water and it was all super comfortable and I was just like wow that this is such a good setup you know we were worried yesterday about um, the wind and the swell kind of being an issue tonight or last night um, but that didn't eventuate because this place is so well protected um, and so you know we're quite relieved to find that this harbour is very well protected and our kind of strategy of coming in here paid off and here we are definitely the biggest boat in fact I don't think a boat bigger than ours would be able to get in here um, we've already lost about four boats on our little ring and uh, yeah, several boats from the other ring has have left as well. 
So obviously, you know, people are getting up and moving on. But we are going to stay put and explore the island. The only way I can describe this, if you've ever watched Father Ted, it's like a French version of Craggy Island. Hello there, Father. Uh, hello, Colm. I hear you're a racist now, Father. <laughs> um, the community must be less than 100 people. Uh, it is ridiculously beautiful here. Um, it does actually seem to be an established community. And it's not twee in that you would kind of... It's not all kind of like glitzed up for tourists. It's just a beautiful place. Beautiful. Anyway, so we're going to go for a little walk. Yep. Um, explore the island. If I were a runner, I could probably run round it in 20 minutes. That's how big we're talking here. I'm not a runner, so let's call it an hour. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is our day. This place is just so charming, don't you think? I think... Are they ponies? Yes, there's even ponies. <laughs> there's ponies. And I thought this place wouldn't get more perfect. Well, look at this. This is like this is like Bilbo's garden. Sunflowers, poppies. There's like wild artichokes over there at the back and a massive allotment. Agapanthus, roses, beetroot, spring onions, squash over there. How do you know all these things? Well, okay, I can I can see the onions. You know, beetroot's got red stems. Yeah, beetroot, I know. Artichokes are massive over there, and they've got big purple flowers. Okay. Do you know what a sunflower is? I do know what a sunflower poppies. is. Poppies? Yeah, I do know Rose poppies. Bed. But what about the potatoes? Where did you see potatoes? Uh, potatoes are... I think they're those ones behind. They're potato leaves. Those big leaves are normally squashes or pumpkins or something like that. If you lived on an island like this, then you would definitely grow your own things. Well, seasonal vegetables. I was just thinking, I think South Brittany is my favourite part of the whole world. I can't think of a place I like more than South Brittany. We've been everywhere. I love so many places. I love South Australia. I love the UK. I'm pretty fond of the Caribbean. I love Asia. If I had to pick one place, it would be South Brittany. It is just, I don't know, it just, there's nothing it doesn't offer. Mm. It is, you know, stunningly beautiful. It's wild. The people are friendly. The food is good. It's reasonably priced. They I can't think of a single fault with this place. It's even got, you know, all, all weathers. Yeah, this is probably typical weather for this time of year. Like June, July, you get like pretty decent weather. August, you get storms rolling in, like summer storms. But when you're not got summer storms, it's beautiful as well. Stunning. Like there's, I, I absolutely love South Brittany.
Literally never a dull moment. I love it. There's always something to look at, always something to watch. Always just a tiny little bit of drama. Fantastic. Very entertaining. Very entertaining. There's always something to watch, especially in the evenings when like there's not much space and there's lots of boats coming in. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope that you loved that video. We have had such a special time here on Il Hodic. It's just been absolutely magical. I hope that you felt that as well. I just also wanted to give a big shout out to our patrons. You guys are an absolutely amazing bunch of people. Thank you so much for supporting us the way that you do. And if you are not a patron and you want to be, then please just click the link down below in the description. Our patrons get all sorts of stuff. They get early access to our videos. They get behind the scenes content. Uh, some of our patrons get access to a WhatsApp group. Every patron gets access to a Facebook group. And there's a whole other bunch of stuff that they get as well. So if that sounds like something you're into, then check out that link in the description below. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, then please do so, it really does help. Otherwise, we will be back here next week with a brand new episode. If you don't wanna miss that, then click the notification bell. See you next week, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>